Well, hello there kids. Welcome to the Dill Learning Channel. Today we are adding double digits without regrouping. Yay, I love math. So go ahead and get your paper. I'll give you a, a second or two to go get your paper because you should really already have it in front of you when we begin the lesson and your pencil and a great eraser. And we're going to learn a quick tip or a quick lesson on how to add double digits without regrouping. And remember, you can go off after this video and create some sample problems for yourself to keep practicing. But this is just a guided lesson to show you how to do the concept of adding double digits without regrouping. So um, if you have been watching our tens and ones video, you should know place value, place value. So. Um, you don't have to write this at the top of your problem, but this is just to help you learn. I like to write two. Remember, we learned in our place value video that we an uh, easy way to remember our, our number placement is to write two. The T stands for tens and the O stands for ones. Now, sometimes people write a line between the numbers. I don't like doing that all the time. I sometimes do it, but I don't like doing that all the time because when you see a real problem on a test or a quiz or in a math book, they don't have that line down the middle for every problem, especially when you graduate into higher grades. They definitely don't have that line down the middle. That's usually for basic instruction of learning how to do this. So just remember that this side, the first thing you need to know when adding double digits this side is the tens, this side is the ones. Tens and ones, that's the first thing you need to make sure that you understand when we are learning how to add double digits. Now, great job. When you know the tens and ones, here's an easy way, and I'm gonna write this on the side. I'm gonna show you two ways to add double digits. You can add the tens separately, and then you can place in the ones. So if you know your tens, you know that this two represents a 20. Or two, and I'm not gonna put the lines in. Two 10 sticks, okay? Then we can add this plus because we know that this three represents a 30. And let me go ahead and put the plus in here so you won't think it's 2030. And how many 10 sticks do we have? We have one, two, three. So when you count it all together, you will have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Aha, we know. Let's count that one more time before I get to my aha. I'm moving a little bit faster than I want to. We know that 20 plus 30 equals 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So we know that this is going to be 50. This problem is going to be 50 something. So now let's write 50 and let's put a line here. And we're gonna bring down that plus because now we know what the tens equal. Now we're going to add in those ones. We have four ones. Okay, so let's just make that one, two, three, four. And then we have another one and one. So let's count. You should know how to count your ones. So now what do we have? 50 plus one, two, three, four, five. We have 50 plus five. So let's count that. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. So we know our answer is going to be 55. And let me put a little squiggle around that. That was one easy way to figure out the answer. To figure out the answer. You can go through all of these steps by separating that two, that two becomes 20, that three becomes 30, I like to write the 10 sticks over it and you just count it out. And then you bring down the answer. We, knew, we found out that those 10 sticks equaled up or those 10s equaled up to 50. Then we added the ones. Remember that 
O means ones. And we drew out our ones and counted our ones and it equaled five. So now we know that 50 plus five is 55. Okay, that's one way to find this answer. Now let's show you another easy way to find the answer. You will begin with the right side first and add to the left, right to the left. So now let's learn another way. You would just add the one straight down. So what is four plus one? Four plus one equals five, okay? And then you would add the tens straight down. What is two plus three? Or but you won't you won't add it as tens and ones. You'll just add it as single digits as ones again. So I don't want that to confuse you. You just add the number straight down. Let me say it that way. That's easy. You just add the number straight down, and then you add the two numbers straight down. Okay. So then we start with the right first. Four plus one equals five, and then two plus three equals five. Oh my gosh! Look how easy that was. Okay. So let's pretend like this tens and ones was not up there. This is what your problem will look like. Okay. And what you do is you just add the four plus one straight down, and then you add the two plus three straight down. Very easy. If this said 25 plus 31, you would have add five plus one straight down and two plus three straight down. Let me say that slowly so that you're not confused because I taught you two different ways to get the answer. This is one way to get the answer, 55. And here's the really, really easy way. Just add straight down, just add straight down. You will add the number straight down. This only is when you are not regrouping, that it's really easy. When you're regrouping, it gets a little bit more complicated. But just when you don't have to regroup and carry ones, you are awesome with just add the number straight down. Four plus one equals five, bring it down. And some kids like to write the answer right here. I don't know why, <laughs> I've never understood that. Please don't write the answer above the line. This means to write the answer underneath the line. Please don't write the number here, five, and another five right here. That's wrong. Write underneath the line. I see so many kids that do that. But that has to be taught. You write the number under the line. So four plus one equals five, and two plus three equals five. And you have the final answer, 55. That's when you do need that two again because you need to understand how to read your tens and ones, 55. I hope that this quick math lesson on how to add double digits was helpful for you. Please make sure you visit our worksheet, sh worksheet section or you can go download worksheets or work in your math book that you are given in class or at your homeschool class and keep practicing. Please also remember to watch the video over and over again so that you can master adding double digits without regrouping. Until next time, goodbye, you're awesome.